There's a YouTube channel. It goes by the name of Mr. Snowflake. Yeah, he's keeping the misfits alive with us, that's for sure, for eternity. Yeah. One of the fundamental facts of life is that you will age. Your hair will turn grey. Jason, the hair's oh, turning grey on you. Well, I just started using just for men, so... Or may even fall out. I didn't actually go bald. <laughs> I, I actually shave my head every single day. <laughs> your muscles will sarcopenia and your body and mind will lose their sharpness. It is inevitable, but it is how we approach this that can come to define us. Many of us struggle with this concept of aging and will sadly try to hang on to our youth just that little bit too long. It's just not that the body is weary. Really, it just can't do what it used to do before. Check it out. And then Angelo wants to stop the fight. And now I'm boggling. Angelo Dundee wants to stop the fight. You can do things to keep the beast of time at bay with exercise. Just look at Big Richard and Sol. Those two get up every day and look into the eye of caducity and say, no sir, not today. Good set, Sol. It's colder than a well digger's ass. That's how cold it is. I don't see a lot of guys here yet. They're a bunch of pussies. They don't want to come in the fucking cold weather and work out. Sadly, most of us do not have the inner strength of Saul and Big Richard. Wait, what are you saying, Jason? February 22nd, 30 years old, going down, getting old. I'm almost fucking 30 years old, I've been doing shit for a long time. Give me a fucking break, please. What's with all the old man stuff tonight? I've never heard this out of you I'm before. 30, I'm going big 3-0. Would Jason let this existential crisis crush him? If he was going to defeat the demons in his head, then he couldn't do it on his own. He was going to need some help from an old friend. Jason had recently acquired a new coach in Debbie. She seemed to be exactly what he needed. No BS, stern, and someone who clearly knew her stuff. However, she left before their partnership could begin to blossom due to online trolls. Jason was left coachless, which meant Hindenburg 2.0 was coming. Or at least it would have, if not for fitness YouTuber Ian McCarthy. Ian had very briefly worked with Jason in the past, and he had promised to return in the future and get Jason in peak shape. And true to his word, he was back. But this time, he wasn't alone. Sick. All right, gentlemen, the floor is yours. Greetings, everyone. I'm Ian McCarthy of Lifting for Life and No Bullshit Bodybuilding, and we're here today with Jason, Jason Genova, the sickening Dark Lord Spaniard, the rule, the rule master. We have a few other uh, appearances by several others in the house tonight. We have Talia, Raphael from RZ Fitness, What's his name? What's Josh this Vogel. That's right. Quadzilla. We have two Quadzillas in the house. Two older Quadzilla. Older Quadzilla. Yeah, older Quadzilla. Your upper body blows his away though, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> and we have uh, Anthony here and Miss Popcart. It's sick. Ian had assembled a crack team of fitness YouTubers to help motivate Jason. And you may remember Raphael from his cameo in a past Misfit video. 6 a.m., 6.25, with Beast. Sickening Delray Miss. <laughs> Sickening! <laughs> Sickening! The last time we had seen him, he was almost unwatchable. However, as time had passed and matured, so had it seemed did Raphael. He wasn't constantly shouting Genova catchphrases like last time, and he seemed a lot more relaxed. 
it seemed that the passage of time had been good for him. There was also a young man there who could have been Jason from an alternate reality. A reality where Jason took things seriously. Is there any man in this weight room who dares to challenge Jason to a pose down other than Raphael? Oh God, what the hell? What? I turn around for a second and all of a sudden it's turning into a... Oh, it's so sick. This is just revolting. Similarity and like... Here's my leg. Actually, Josh, kind of, Josh looks like what Jason would look like if he got lean. <laughs> really? No, I'm being serious. It's like before and after, you know? There was also the guy Jason mocked for the size of his legs. Come on, pit squeak, man. Move your legs, you little pit squeak shrimp. Look at the little, little, little stick legs. <laughs> you don't even have the lower body. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Your, your calves are... Hey, by the way, your calves are the size of a pea. But looks can be deceiving. This guy just did this 30 times. Perfect form. Anthony's got girl legs, so you better do more than 30 reps. One, two, they only count at 13, three, slower, four, no, just playing. Okay, sickening. His way, he's a shit lord. Got it. Seven, you can do it, Jason. Eight, we believe in you. Girl. Nine, yes. Ten, come on, Jason, you can I'll do it. I'll tell you when to stop, bitch. Jason. Oh, you're killing Come me. Come on, bro. You can't do it. I'm if too you finish the set, I'll buy you $50 at Denny's. I'll put $10 of gas in your car. Despite Jason mocking others in the group, once he realized he couldn't keep up with the rest of them, his internal panic manifested in the form of excuses. Here's no. an opportunity. No. Well, I'll get you a job, or I'll get you a spot on casting couch. <laughs> We can call up. I'm already washed you know, you, up anyway. You know you could have done a lot more, right? Oh, come on, Jason. Oh, Jason. That's sad. This guy, you've been tormenting this guy about the size of his legs, and he did 30. Jason. Jason. You say you're the hardest working bodybuilder on YouTube. I was, but not anymore. I'm older now. It don't matter. Oh, no, 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 you're 29. No, no, no. Don't give up. That's you know, cool. I think Ronnie Coleman was like 35 when he squatted 800 pounds. And look he was at you. Older. He was winning Olympias in his 40s. Yeah. Oh, and he and his spine was broken or something, severely injured in the early 90s. All right, okay. It's already burned out. That's all right. Don't worry about it, Jason. You're you're working out hard. Wait, what are you saying, Jason? February 22nd, 30 years old, going down, getting old. Over the hill. Over the hill. Hey. I'm almost fucking 30 years old. I've been doing shit for a long time. Hey, Give me a fucking break, please. Uh, Ian. Yes. You guys, we're still squatting, and we still have to hack squat, and we still have to leg press. Right. Jason is playing the age card right yes. now. I'm old, I'm decrepit, I'm tired. Jason. One foot in the grave. What about muscle maturity? 35, but I'm about dying, I'm getting old. So between 30 and 35, you're dying. Once you get to 35, you have muscle maturity. Yeah, but my bones, my cuts, my, all my injuries are hindering me. But wasn't Ronnie Coleman squatting like eight plates a side when he was 40 or something? Yeah, and, but he had... And, and his back was broken or something, you know? Yeah, he's on a boatload of stuff. Sorry, car a boatload of stuff. Aren't you? Not as much. Oh, okay. You ever hear of Bo Jackson? Bo Jackson, he played in the major leagues with an artificial hip after it was dislocated in an NFL game. Come on, Jason. You're a Sith Lord, bro. You can't play the age card. Use the force. Don't make me call up Saul. I'll call Saul up. <laughs> Better call Saul. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll have Saul come here and I hit you with this cane. He doesn't even have a cane. What's good? What? Been what? around since 23 on the internet. Now I'm 30. Seven years ago. Seven and pissing years of hard work. <laughs> what did he say? Uh, yeah. He said, can you whoop an old man? And the truth is, I'm <laughs> What's with all the old man stuff tonight? I've never heard this out of you I'm before. I'm 30. I'm going big 3-0. Pose down. It's time to pose down, Jason. Jason, your whole life is ahead of you. Life just begins at 30. Jason, now in full-blown excuses mode, went back to doing what made him feel safe and comfortable. It's sick, bro. It's sick. Where's Jason? Oh, come on. He's What's he doing over there? <laughs> He's... Oh, Jesus. Oh Excuse me, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back, folks. Jason, did you get lost? Jason had never thought of himself as old before, 
possibly because he was usually around older guys like Big Richard and Sol. Listen, I figured we'd That's... go out sometime, you and I, and pick up girls, you know? That's okay. You can pick up what I And as we all know, Jason liked to refer to himself as a freak. I thought we didn't care about injuries. We don't care about injuries. We don't care about injuries. We're freaks. But Sol was the real freak, a freak of nature. <sighs> Come on. While Jason was making excuses because of his age, Sol was pushing himself in the gym. If this was Sol in his 80s, imagine the fire he had in him when he wore a younger man's clothes. I wish I had some. Oops. <laughs> what, you got a hot date? Where are you going? Yeah. Hot date. Of course, Jason saying he couldn't do certain things because of his age wasn't the only excuse he gave when in the gym. The car accidents, if you've been in all these car accidents, why does your mother still let you drive? I don't know. They weren't my fault, they were their fault. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Could be. He's a really safe driver, honestly, I'm not even exaggerating. No, I've said that before, I've driven with him a number of times. He stop sign, he stops. He always uses his signal. But then he bites a chunk out of the steering wheel when he gets road rage. So the steering wheel. You have to show us the steering wheel. Yeah, please wheel. show me. Go, please you show us how you get in this fucking thing. <laughs> we have to see. There is a. Wait a minute. Is that the, 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 the no homo bandana? Get in. The there is a Put chunk. There is a chunk of steering wheel. No lie, missing from this car. Look. That, <laughs> hold on a second. I gotta find the chunk of missing steering wheel. Okay, it's right down there. Um, Did you bite that? I don't. If Jason was beginning to feel old, then there is always one place you can go that makes you feel like a child again. I'm tired. I've been having a tough week this whole week. So you a good yeah, I'm fucking tired. This guy's had a whirlwind of a week. Yeah. The zoo, the science place, leg workouts, busy body fitness. Yes, Jason had taken a trip to the zoo with Ian. Maniacs were looking forward to footage of Jason at the zoo. They were probably thinking about all the monkey ments they would get. Sadly though, they would be disappointed. <laughs> but seeing Jason pose out in public was always entertaining at least. Hanging out with Ian and his friends seemed to be beneficial for Jason. He was going on fun trips and having fun eating out with them. He showed good knowledge of the past, mainly disasters though. <laughs> the Spanish Red Balloon broke out in 1917 and 1919 and killed over half a billion people. He's gonna look it up. Let's see what the phone says. <laughs> How many? Watch it be exactly 500 million. It infected 500 million people. I was yeah. right. <laughs> I was right about that. The number was right, not in reference to the number of people it killed, but still, that's sickening. <laughs> I got it almost. How right. do you know that, Jason? In was that... history, I was a genius in history. Yeah. The Titanic sank April 14, 1912 to April 15, uh -huh, 19... the Titanic sitting right in front of us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible. So you were really good at history in school. Yeah. I got A's and everything. Yeah. yeah. The, the Titanic hit an iceberg at 11.39 p.m. on April 14, 1912. We'll have to check this. Be... April 15th, it sank at 2.20 a.m. Wow. Date and time when the Titanic hit the iceberg. 2.39 to 2.4, 11.39 to 11.39 p.m. That's correct. <laughs> Holy shit. That's correct. <laughs> right on the... What? Is it? <laughs> on 14th April 1912, four days into the crossing and about 375 miles, 600 kilometers south of Newfoundland, <laughs> she hit an iceberg at 11.40 p.m. ship's time. Wow. What? The Iron oh, Historian. <laughs> you should get a PhD in history, story. bro. Yep. <laughs> That's really... As we had already seen, Jason was worried about the future concerning his age. And Jason seemed a little worried about when Ian and his friends would leave. 
they were only staying at Jason's place for a week before leaving town, and Jason would be left with no friends again. Well, apart from Andrew. Jason, is it confirmed that Lenny's not allowed to go to the Christmas party? Because I spoke to your mom and she said she only wants me to go. Only you. She said no Lenny, no this one, no that one, no Angel J. Nobody. Why not? Well, last time she saw Lenny, she rubbed her tits on him. She doesn't want to go. Andrew seemed like Jason's only real friend. You, you see abs? A little bit. A little bit. They're there still. Well, they're there. They're just covered by about a two-inch layer of fat. Yes, he seemed to have made new friends with Ian and the group. They were even treating him like he was royalty. But there was the slight sense they were just using him as a performing monkey. No pun intended. Jason, what's your <laughs> thoughts on the recent Michael Brown case? It's a mess. It's a mess, bro. What do you think about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Do you have an opinion on it? It's terrible! What do you think about ISIS targeting Christians specifically? You have to explain the upper lower yeah, body. We got to get it on camera. On you camera. Explain upper body, lower body. Right? You have? Wait, the... no, 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 no. We got to do it. We can let him do it now. Yeah. It's yeah. funny every time. You have <laughs> so you board? have the legs. <laughs> Jason, you got you got a point. Can you skip this with your phone? Oh, I, I'm filming. I wanted to. You have the legs, but you don't have you have you, you have you have the legs, but you don't have the up, you have the up, you have the upper body. You have the upper body, but you don't have the legs. You got a problem. You have the legs. You have the upper body. Jason then got to discussing old coaches. PJ Bond. Oh my God. Did I hate that time? <laughs> there were several versions, right? Yes. <laughs> Did you go like no carb? No. Yeah. Well, it was... Before the first day he made me do the science experiments by Lane Norton. <laughs> the science what? The science diet by Lane Norton. Lane Norton? Why do I recognize that name? The good Dr. Lane Norton, who, as most of you know, I've had a legal battle with a couple of years ago. He sued me when I was living in the United Kingdom in the High Court. Oh my god, it's all connected. Was being surrounded by hot young people making Jason depressed? Was it not being around Sol and Richard for a while? Or was it actually because he was nearly 30? He certainly only began talking about age when he was around Ian and the fellow young folk. The worry of being older was now starting to consume Jason, and it was ruining his day and his mood. Luckily though, he had in his possession his power totem, the thing that can make himself and everyone around him forget the cruel mistress of time and just enjoy the ment. Yes, I am talking about his red posing trunks. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I'm too bloated. There in his trunks, in front of his fans, Jason was happy. He was, in that moment, locked in time. Perfect, and he took his fans along with him. These people in this place, together, young and beautiful, forever. Good night, everyone. Thanks for coming to World Gym. 
Great having everyone here tonight. Fun video.